Most people will tell you that your facial looks are completely genetic and you can't completely change them. I guarantee that if you watch this video with full attention and take notes, you will be able to take your facial looks to another level. No matter how much skin care you do or how well you style your hair, 90% attractiveness of your face depends on your facial bone structure. Now the better bone mass you have in your face, the more your face will look like it's sculpted by an artist, since bones define your cheekbones, jawline, eye area, canthal tilt, and chin. This is going to be a complete course to your facial attractiveness. Having a high bone mass is directly correlated with your facial attractiveness, but how do you achieve it? First, we explore jaw tension abolition technique. Jaw tension abolition refers to techniques and practices aimed at reducing tension in the jaw muscles. Jaw tension can result from stress, anxiety, bruxism, teeth grinding, poor posture, or even excessive talking or chewing. This tension can lead to discomfort, headaches, jaw pain, and even temporomandibular joint TMJ disorders. Tension in your jaw stops your bones from developing, so what you have to do to eliminate it Stretching gently open your mouth as wide as possible without discomfort, then close it slowly. Repeat this several times to stretch the jaw muscles. Side to side movement slowly move your jaw from side to side to loosen up tight muscles. Massaging the jaw muscles use your fingers to gently massage the muscles around your jaw, particularly in the areas where you feel tension. Microfracture manipulation Wolf's Law Developed by German anatomist Julius Wolff in the 19th century explain this. Wolff's law is a principle in biology that explains how bones adapt to the amount of stress or load placed on them. In simple terms, if you regularly put stress on your bones like through exercise or physical activity, they become stronger and denser. To create more bone mass, especially in your face, you need microfractures in it. Now I am not calling for bone smashing with hammer or anything of that kind with high risk. Instead, we will be using a method called thumb pulling, a more natural way to, to apply this law. Thumb pulling is a technique related to facial aesthetics, particularly within the context of practices like mewing. It involves using the thumbs to apply pressure on the roof of the mouth, the palate with the aim of expanding the upper jaw and potentially promoting forward facial growth. Wash your hands thoroughly to avoid introducing any bacteria into your mouth. Sit comfortably, ensuring your back is straight. Positioning place your thumbs on the roof of your mouth, specifically on the palate. Your thumbs should be positioned near the back of the palate, but not too close to the throat. Applying pressure gently press upwards with your thumbs against the palate. The pressure should be firm but not painful. You can either hold the pressure steady or apply a rhythmic, pulsing motion, depending on your preference. Duration and frequency start with short sessions, around 5 to 10 minutes, once a day. Gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable with the technique, good overall posture, especially head posture, is important during and after thumb pulling. Monitoring pay attention to any discomfort or pain. If you experience any negative effects, it's important to stop immediately and consult a healthcare professional. 